Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I said that I'd open these here cans on the 19th of November, 2018. It's currently the 22nd of November, so let's get them open. So the first observation I have is this uh, tin can that I made with the green beans inside of it, which was sealed on the 19th of February. It has got some gray spots up near the top here. Now, initially I thought those were just like some oxidation or maybe some dirt that you know, maybe came off my pliers, but uh, now that I look at it again, they've gotten bigger. Like all summer they were about the same, but now that it's uh, gone into the fall again and the temperatures have dropped, these spots have gotten bigger. And so I think they are actually the uh, tin pest or gray tin. Now you see if I take the temperature of the room here, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit or 8 degrees Celsius. Now if I remember right, tin should transform at 56 degrees and below. So it is, so it has actually been cold enough in here for it to transform and since this was the highly pure food grade tin, it makes sense that we might get something. So uh, maybe for future reference it might be better to use a tin zinc alloy or something that uh, doesn't crumble as easily. Uh, I might save this lid and then just see what happens to it over time. But let's go open them up, see how it's fared. You can see the peaches are indeed still sealed. So seems like a good sign. And I will be eating the peaches because even if they've gone rotten, it's not going to kill me. I won't be eating the beans though. You know, botulism. It, they're probably fine. Still. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, take these where we got some better lighting. So I just put the macro lens on the camera so we can hopefully get a little bit better view of this here. And yep, that absolutely is gray tin. Tin pest forming. I did not expect that. The, the pantry I didn't think would be cold enough, but apparently it was. And by the looks of it, it might have even compromised the seal here. See how the tin has crumbled a little bit? It might have lost its vacuum. So that definitely is a problem for this sort of thing. So I've had a look at the lids to these jars, which are made of the same metallic food grade tin that uh, this can was made out of. And I don't see any signs of it transforming into the gray tin. Maybe it was just like a luck of the draw. Just got an unusual situation here. Or maybe they just are not old enough to... and haven't spent enough time at low temperatures to show any signs. Although they may be showing something, but they weren't exactly flawless to begin with, so it's kind of hard to tell. So, anyway. Let's open up this tin can to start with. Got my tin snips here. Got to snip it open. I don't know if you guys can hear that crackly noise it makes when I start to deform the tin. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Oop, we got some liquid. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. Just trying to cut this seam at the top. There it is. It's open. They're at least still green. They don't smell particularly good. The water is a bit cloudy. This this looks like a recipe for food poisoning here. <laughs> I mean, it's probably fine. But yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the peaches. A nice little ribbon of tin. So I'm only going to open one of these today. Uh, that way we can store one for longer. See how that compares maybe after several years. 
So I think I'm going to open this one because the lid is not quite as pretty. Uh, this is the one with the rubber gasket, which is uh, for the commercial uh, lids. Should just be able to leverage it off. There it is. I should be able to reuse this. The gasket looks like it's seen better, but it should still work. Oh, these peaches, they smell pretty good. <laughs> Let's have a taste here. Yeah, that's home to canned peaches. It kind of tastes like the peach does in a peach pie or a peach cobbler. Something that was made from fruit uh, rather than, you know, store-bought cans. It definitely has a different taste than what you would find in, like, a can of peaches that you'd buy from the store. You know, it's just as sweet. The texture is a little bit different, but that could be just the breed of peach. Uh, what I think it actually is, is these cans are tin lined, and the tin on the lid never really contacted the fluid, at least not for any significant amount of time. So they definitely taste a little different. Some of the taste comes from the tin. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to can some more peaches and put in maybe a strip of tin actually down into the bottle and then we'll, we'll see if it tastes any different. Maybe we'll open that at the same time we're opening this one. Well these are pretty good. The tin lid did work. The tin can, if there was peaches in here I would have still eaten them but as it is with beans you know, this, it smells like I had set some beans out on the counter to soak and then forgot about them. And they maybe started to go a little bit moldy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.